Welcome to Simplified Engineering. This is video lecture number 7 and the topic is thermodynamic process and cycles. In the last lecture we covered dif different thermodynamic properties and the state. When the properties such as pressure, temperature, volume are having some specific value then it is called state of the system. So in this lecture we are going to explain the process and cycle with a piston cylinder arrangement. This contains a cylinder which have is having some fluid and the piston which can slide through that. So the properties that we are going to discuss are pressure, temperature and volume. So when the piston is moving down at e each stage there will be different values for pressure, temperature and volume. So each values are denoted by P1, V1, D1, P2, V2, T2 etc. And it uh, is called state. So let us explain with an animation. So I am going to apply some amount of force on the top of the piston so it will start moving down like this. Okay, so at this stage it is P1, then P2, then at this way P3, then at this state it is P4. So this way it will change means there are different states, different property values when the piston is moving down. So these are all, all our different states. These different states we can represent in, in a PV diagram or we can represent it also in a TV diagram also. So consider this PV diagram. So in which the pressure P1 and V1 at this state. Then next state is P2 V2. The next state is P3 V3. Then next state is P4 V4. So in between P1, V1 and P2, V2 there may there will be intermediate states also but we will in this diagram we are representing only major states for ed easy identification. So it is a continuous points representing different different states when each property is having a slight change that is also a state. So most pro probably it will be a continuous line. So when the system is moving in a series of states it is called a path and if the path is completely defined such as it is a constant pressure process it means that during that path the pressure will be constant or the temperature will be constant or it is a constant volume process so in that case it is called a process which means that if the complete path is defined then it is called process and next we are going to explain what is mean by a cycle so in this is a process the path is completely defined in some way with some governing equation so this is a process we can represent it with a continuous line in some cases the we will be denoting it with a discontinuous line that kind of process is called irreversible process we will be discussing that in detail in coming lectures so this is a process so it is moving from the first point from here to here the volume is decreasing and the pressure is increasing so now it is at this state at the top higher pressure and low volume so if the system is coming to its initial state then it is called a cycle which means that it will be like this it can go through this a different path or it can go through the same path if the initial point and the final point final initial state and final state of the system are same then it is called a cycle I hope you understand the concept of the uh, process path process and cycles so these are very simple concepts this is for your understanding and we'll be explaining in detail in coming lectures different types of properties and different types of process and different types of cycles why we are using cycles and all thank you for watching our next video is zeroth law of thermodynamics thank you